What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm continuing to chronicle all the changes to Samsung UN UI 5.0 beta for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. As you guys probably saw if you watched my first video, there's a ton of changes you can see. This is the whole list right here. I will drop my first video down there, which was an overview. It's got some of the big features, how to install it, what devices are eligible, all those kind of questions. That'll be in the comment below. But today we're gonna talk about changes that include extracting text and other things from images in camera, in gallery, when you take a screenshot, it's a great feature. And it also gives you suggestions based on what's in that image. Like if you have a phone number or email or a website, you can visit the website, etc. It's a very nice feature and something that Samsung has added to boost productivity. So before I do show off those two key features, I will mention once again that Samsung Unpacked is less than a week away. If you guys are pre-ordering, you should put in your email at the reservation link I'm gonna put in the description in the pinned comment. And even if you aren't pre-ordering, put in your email and check this box. Let's keep in touch. Samsung will often send out some coupons. Last time I got a 40% off coupon for accessories, even though we didn't pre-order anything with my wife's email, we put it in there, she got a coupon. So if you have a current phone from Samsung, you wanna get a case or something like that, just throw your email address in there. There's no commitment to buy or anything like that. It's 100% free. You don't have to buy something from Samsung Unpacked and you can still get access to those offers. So today let's talk about those two features. Let me see if I can scroll through here and actually find it for you. I'll show you. Here are the two features we're gonna be talking about today. Extract text from images or screen. Extract text using Samsung keyboard, internet, gallery, or whenever you take a screenshot. Paste the result into a message, email, or document instead of typing. Get suggestions based on text and images. So for instance, uh, take a picture with a sign or a phone number or web address. You can tap to call the number or visit the site. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of these features really quick uh, with a couple of screenshots that I've, well actually we can do a screenshot in real time. Here's one right here. If I take one of the reservation page that I just talked about and I tap on the screenshot to go to the editor, you can see here that if I long press on it, I can then, you see how I gave that little pink thing it was thinking to figure out what it was that I wanna copy. I can then copy any of this text that I'm interested in. And it's very simple then to share that text like this down here, anywhere that I want. So OneNote, Twitter, you know, any of your favorite contacts. I actually made a video the other day about how you can edit all of these contacts and apps. You know, you can edit your apps right here by going to more, change out which apps you want to put in the main banner. That way you can share for the quickest way possible. So that's very easy to do. Go ahead and, you know, get all of your text exported there. And then also when you take a screenshot, if you have a website in there, like Samsung obviously recognizes that this is their website, you can see right here that there's a little button here that says go to website. So you can tap on go to website and then clearly that'll take me back to the page. You can also tap on this button over here, which will highlight all of the available text. So you guys saw that before I could highlight individual text by long pressing, but if you wanna highlight all of that text, you can go ahead and do this and then you can see you know, individually which pieces of text you actually want to highlight and, and save. So you can see all of this. It just brings it into nicer, easier chunks so you don't have to worry about the formatting or anything like that getting messed up when you copy and paste it somewhere. So obviously this is a very nice productivity feature. Samsung already had some really awesome features in terms of sharing things, sharing images. It's always been one of the best productivity based you know, operating systems out there. And this just really adds a layer to that. Now, another thing you can do, of course, is not only if you're inside of the camera app or, or inside gallery, you can also do this, you know, if you didn't take a screenshot, you can do it from a regular picture. So if I've taken a regular photo, let me see if I can find a regular photo or I have some text. Here's a photo I took the other day. I was actually talking about one of the scanning uh, opportunities in there. You can easily extract text from here as well. You can see here, go down there, it'll let me extract all this text, copy it, and then you can paste it here or on connected devices. So once again, I can share it. One of my favorite things to do is to share it to Google Keep Notes because I use that for all my different things. I can also share the photo if you want. You can do all of those things. Share the text, share the photo, just about anything you wanna share with Samsung's share menu. So these are just two of the biggest new features that Samsung's added to allow you to get more productivity out of your device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Also, again, check out the unpack link just in case. I don't know why it keeps going back to a different page. That seems to be a little bug with One UI 5.0. Whenever you navigate away, it seems to go back to a previous page in Chrome. Don't know why, but check out the Samsung reservation page. Also, if you guys are pre-ordering something from Unpacked, 
I'm offering some mystery boxes to all of my subscribers with a free case, a phone stand, and some other goodies. I'll have the link in the description for that as well. I appreciate you guys checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.